there, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. Today I wanted to talk about a charming vintage collectible that is Little Golden Books. Most of us had at least one or two or maybe three Little Golden Books that we loved and asked mom and dad to read night after night. Simon & Schuster introduced Little Golden Books in 1942 with 12 original titles. I don't happen to have any of those titles with me today, but I've bought and sold a number of them over the years. Those first 12 copies were sold for 25 cents each, and they came with blue spines. We're used to seeing the gold spines on the little golden books, but those original 12 had blue spines like this one, Prayers for Children, and they came with paper dust jackets. This is the first time I've actually had one that had the dust jacket. In 1949, they introduced the gold spine, and it wasn't until 1962 that the price was raised from 25 to 29 cents. Nowadays, they sell in grocery stores and bookstores for anywhere from three to five dollars each. When people are collecting little golden books or buying them to sell, they look for different things. Sometimes they're looking for specific topics or books by specific authors or illustrators. So an example of that is this book, Rabbit and His Friends by Richard Scarry, another well-known children's book author. He wrote a number of little golden books and illustrated them, including this one. And then we have the bunny book, also illustrated by Richard Scarry, but written by his wife. One of the ways to tell whether or not you have a first edition is to look at, at the copyright page. So in the case of Prayers for Children, there are a number of different printings. And so that lets me know that this is not a first edition. Sometimes an edition, a, a book will have just one date on the copyright page, like Little Cottontail has copyright 1960. But Little Golden Books has an interesting way to double check that, and that is in the back of the book on the last page, right at the spine, you will very often find a letter squeezed in there. In this case, the letter is B. I hope you could see that. B means that this is a second edition. If it had said A, it would have been a first edition. So there you have two ways to check the copyright. Keep an eye out for little golden books at garage sales, estate sales, and flea markets, and expect to pay anywhere from 25 cents to a dollar for a copy. So it pays to know the values of some of the books and how likely they are to sell in your antique booth or online. I sell them very regularly from my antique booth. And so I buy them, I scoop them up whenever I find them. Uh, first editions, of course, are much more valuable than later editions. Copies with their dust jacket intact are going to be much more valuable as well. Did you know that since 1942, when the books were introduced, they've sold over 2 billion copies? And the Pokey Puppy title has sold 15 million copies alone and is the single most popular children's book in the world. It's worth it to take some time to learn a little bit more about Little Golden Books, and I hope I helped in that process. Thanks for joining me, and happy hunting.